Psalm 88, a prayer of one who feels forsaken and who asks whether the Lord's loving kindness shall be declared in the grave. A song or psalm for the sons of Korah to the chief musician upon Mehalath and Leonath, Maskil of Heman, the Ezraite. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the, unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am a man that hath no strength. Free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves, Selah. Thou hast put away mine accus my acquaintance from afar from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine eye mourneth by reason of affliction. The Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou shew wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee, Selah? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave? Or thy faithfulness and destruction? Shall thy, workers, shall thy wonders be known in the dark? And thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me. Thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water. They compassed me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me and mine acquaintance, in, mine acquaintance into darkness. Now, this doesn't make any sense where it says, and in the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. But the footnotes here, alternate Hebrew translation says, but my prayer will come before thy face. Now, I'm not sure how you get those two different translations in there, but my prayer shall come before thy face makes a whole lot more sense. But this seems to be seen. Remember, Heman was one of the singers, one of the head uh, choir directors, Heman, Asaph, and Jeduthun. Jeduthun is later referred to as the chief musician. So it was uh, Kenaniah, I believe, was the first chief musician. Apparently Jeduthun became the next one after him. But Heman was one of the three. And this is the one psalm we have of his in the scriptures. He was a descendant of Korah, which is fitting for him to write a psalm for the sons of Korah, the singing troop. But, speaking of the text of this, this just sounds like somebody on their deathbed. Somebody, it sounds like somebody who is suffering through great physical illness and waiting to die gives me the impression that Heman himself probably had some debilitating disease later in life. And as he's waiting to die, he is wondering, you know, I've suffered through all this in life. Is there going to be rest for me after death? Am I going to experience the peace and love of God? Or is it just the end? He's contemplating this. He doesn't exactly answer the question. though. He's just contemplating this. Is there anything after this? Will I still suffer this after death? Is what I think he's really asking. Will this pain and suffering continue after I'm dead? Or will I have rest in thy mercies? Now, I think he was, he does talk about his sin and his iniquity. I don't think he was guilty of anything grossly wicked. So I think he's probably okay. But it is natural for people, even faithful people, to start questioning things especially if they have to go through severe, debilitating physical ailments. It is natural for them to start to wonder, is, is where I'm going going to be better? Should I 
cling to this life longer? Or should I let myself die and go to something better? Is there something better after this? Now, of course, we know there is something better after this. For the faithful, they will go, their spirits will go to paradise. And then they will eventually be resurrected. But it is natural for somebody on their deathbed, especially, as I said, experience debilitating diseases, to wonder and question. And that's what this reminds me of. This is what I think this is. <clears throat> 